Okay, now we're about to do the hem of the jacket. All right, so at the moment it's all completely open. And you'll see here that there's, uh, this is the same length, the lining is the same length as the outer garment. So we're just going to fold this back on itself this way. And And so most of the garment's going to go inside, but we need to leave a gap in the back lining so that we can get, get in there and we'll fill that up later. So if we actually start, we'll do, we'll do one section, so we'll do one side and then we'll do the other side. Okay. So, we just, need so to... just to be clear, which point of the jacket are you starting Okay, at? so this is the, so this is the front, the mm -hmm. front lining mm -hmm. here, this is the side panel. Yep. So these are, these are the back two panels. Yep. So I'm starting at the side back here. Um, and what we're going to do, rather than sewing, starting right here, we're actually going to start sewing like a three centimetres back from that because we're going to tack this hem allowance up uh, in the next step. So this is just a one centimetre seam. And because you're sewing with the lining on top as well, it means that if you've got, if there's a slight difference in the fabric like that, you can actually like match this up. You should always match the seams and then you can just ease that slight amount of fullness in underneath there. Now what happens here, because this, because we've got this step and we've got our facing mm -hmm. here, we actually need to go across here. So what we're going to do is we need to keep this Keep this straight here up to the corner, but then we're going to angle our lining. Oops. So make sure this this is nice and flat and that it doesn't go off on like it doesn't go off on an angle there and you sew it the wrong way there. So it's flat to the edge. We'll actually come up here. And then You'll see there's that that angle there, and so this is just a little flappy bit, which just gives it a little bit more support to the hem when we pull it through. Okay. And you'll see when I turn that through there. Actually, we'll do this one. We'll do. We'll take up the, the hem on one on this one side. So turn it back around again. It's a bit confusing. So there's a section we just did. So each of these, this is actually a, a four centimetre hem. So what we need to do now is the same as we did on the on the sleeve. So it's a four centimetre hem, which is that distance from there to there, taken across. Um, you probably don't have notches on your bit, so you can just like snip the four centimetre notch there. And you could do one there. And then what happens now is that we're literally just where that notch is, we're putting our finger in there and we're folding the hem allowance up and we're just going to tack that seam allowance onto the seam allowance there and that's going to hold our hem up for us so we don't have to do any blind hemming or anything. And just keep in mind, see that folds across there, just make sure that that pulls flat and that you're not actually creating any pleats in this section here. And just doing a back tack, so we're holding the holding the hem allowance up. You can see there, so holding the hem allowance up by tacking the seam allowance. Same on this one. So where the four notch is, notch. four centimeter notch, pulling that up. I'm just going to tack this in place here. And this will be a pressing thing, so we'll get back to that when we turn the garment inside out, or uh, right side out. Um, Alright, so that's some... Um, oh, and you'll see now that we've done that, we need to bag out, actually we'll bag out this front corner here. So this is our front facing corner. So when you, when you turn out corners like this, if you fold on the seam allowance and then fold again, uh, don't you generally it's a good idea not to trim the trim the excess away because usually that means that you end up with a with a rounded corner but by keeping the actual seam allowance in there on the corner generally you end up with a with a nice um, with a with a sharper corner and if you need to you can sort of gently get in there 
and pry that fullness out again. And you can see by us tacking up this hem here, when we press this, we'll press it so that it's actually flat there and then it goes up at an angle here. And so there's no, there's no pleat just at the front here, but there is a pleat on the side here. Okay? Great. So that's one side, and now I'll just repeat that on the other side, and I'm going to leave a gap in the back here, which we'll get in through to and we'll yeah. up a bit later. I'll leave a gap in the, in the hem. Okay, so again here, fold this back. We're starting from the front this time. So one centimetre, take that across. And remember, this is going to line up here. It doesn't, that doesn't line up there. You know, you've got a, like a centimetre. Centimetre seam now. Now this does get a little bit trickier because you've already got half of the thing turned out. So there is going to be a bit of, bit of bulk here, but it should be all right because we're leaving ourselves quite a big gap in there. So this is to the, so this is the centre back, and this is the side back panel. So front panel, side panel, and we're, we're taking it to like three or four centimetres past that side panel there. And again here, we've got this, so it's not, we're not going to sew it across here, we're actually going to match up that point. So the lining goes at an angle up to this point here. Sorry, match up our seam line here. And remember to match the notches, don't just sew. Um, match them up and work towards the work towards the seams. And I'm sewing past this again so we can do our our hem amounts. So these are the two hems that we'll be matching up. So get the tape measure and snip the four centimeter hem. Four centimeters on that side. And then we'll fold that up. And just tack that four centimetres up, check that you haven't sewn through anything there that you shouldn't have. This one here. No, actually another option that you could do is rather than putting a four centimetre one here, you could actually put an eight centimetre notch and that way you just match that up with the notch there. Yeah. That would be an option as well. So I'm just going to, to bag this through, so again, fold, this is our, our front hem corner, so fold on the stitch line and then fold on the stitch line, and these folds, you're actually folding it towards, towards the facing, so then I slip my hand in between these two and hold on to that corner, and then and poke it through. And all of this comes out. Okay, so there's our, our bottom corner here, pocket. So when we press this, we'll press across flat to here, and then we'll just continue this along, and the and the lining will will bag over over that hem allowance. Okay, now just this last gap, um, we've we've got this hole here that we have to get into. So we have to sew this, and we have to tack this up. Now what we're going to do to do that, rather than, one option would be to actually tack this up, tack this up with machine and then hand stitch across there, but um, an easier way to do it is through the sleeve. So what we do is we find the inner sleeve lining, get in there and we pull the, pull the lining out, and you've already stitched this up, but it's just a matter of, Unpicking it. So we're actually going to put a hole in the lining 
So just by to be careful that you not in the fabric. The <laughs> yes, in the lining, not in not in the fabric. And we're going to get in through here. And we could have left this open earlier, but I always I can never remember. <laughs> I never remember to do it at an earlier stage. So I generally always have to um you know unpick the hole. But don't make it too long, it doesn't have to be an enormous hole. But the idea is now that we get in through this hole. And we pull this hand bit very gently. Don't crush up the garment too much. I mean, it's, it's going to get a little crushed, but it's not so bad. And we pull the, the bit that we have to sew up, pull it out through that hole in the sleeve lining. Okay, so now starting where we left off before, and basically you just have to pull it tight here, so back tight. So we're just sewing up the hole. Okay, and before we pull it back through again, we need to do stitch this up so I'm going to do the eight centimeter thing here now. So eight centimeters because that's twice the four centimeter hem and then all I need to do is fold this up and match that up with that notch there. So the raw edge matches up with the notch. Pull this through, make sure the backs, the outer fabric's out of the way, just sewing through the seam allowance of course and then a back tack, a back tack holding that up. Okay, and you can see I've just stitched through the seam, seam allowance, allowance there. Yep. Okay, so that's all secured now. Our hem's all secured up, the, the hole's um, patched up. And so now I just have to pull the garment back out through. 